All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai Nine Twenty Two. One Piece. One Piece. One Piece chapter review. Six hundred ninety-five. We're getting close. We're getting close to seven hundred. Big milestone. Big milestone. Um, <coughs> there is no live stream tonight because I did one yesterday. Um, supposedly I'm supposed to do something on Skype later on tonight. That's why I did it yesterday. The live stream. All right. Um, besides the One Piece chapter review, I'm going to do Psychopath review and another. Yes, I'm going to review another winter anime. So it's going to be three. That's as far as I'll go. As far as I'll go. Kataro san. I'll start reviewing that. But anyway, that's later on tonight. It's time to get into this chapter of One Piece, chapter 695. Um, this one, I don't believe they gave us a title. I'm looking here and I don't see a title. Huh. No, I don't. Huh. Um... Yeah, don't see a title. Anyway, the beginning of this chapter, 695, where here is a title. Before, before I get into this, um, this chapter was really interesting, to say the least. Um, what happened in... Oh, that's the name of the chapter. Okay, now I know. The name of the chapter was Leave It To Me. Now, 695. This one was pretty interesting, to say the least. Um... The more or less gist of this chapter was the appearance of now Nami and Usopp. Now, let's get into the summary though first. <coughs> Beginning part, you know, we got, you know, Frankie against Buffalo and Baby Five. And obviously Buffalo saying, what the hell's with this guy? Metal bastard, nothing works on him. And Frankie's, like, accusing him of stealing his cola and everything. And then uh, Frankie's doing a pose. He says, you can try, but it's super useless. That was funny. Um, and they start fighting him continuously. Um, Baby Five turns into a sickle. Yeah, you know, like, like uh, you know, the death has a sickle. But the only difference is... She turns her hands into a chain. And, you know, Buffalo's got the chain and he's swinging it around. And, like, her, uh, uh, her legs are the, the, the actual scythe and her hands are, are the chain. And she tries to attack, um, Frankie with that as he's in the robot, big robot, Shogun. Uh, Frankie blocks it with his arm, hand. And he's like, so, oh, I'll give you credit for that. Um... And that's when he says, but only for piercing this general body and saying that it's like a mantis attacking a warship. Uh, and he's saying that the pirate ship that will once conquer the days, the, the, the conquer the seas, the thousand sunny, the most formidable weapon at our, our disposal, savor with your own bodies. Um, and he unleashes what is known as the general cannon. So he basically blasts the fucking hell out of Baby Five and Buffalo. And it was like, they're asking, asking themselves, what is he with this guy? You know, he's in the free with our, our, our attempting to get Caesar, you know, and... And then Frankie's like asking, what is Caesar doing there? You know, and they're basically saying that don't lump us, and Frankie's like saying how, you know, you know, you're not like those small fry, are you? And he, he says, don't lump us with that guy. We'll, we'll get Caesar back at any cost by the name of Joker. Um, and that's when we see everyone else coming out of the tunnel. 
uh, you know, let's burst through the exit, It'll send out some wind Nami, and Rusa, like, there's a world of poison out there, you know, and he's creeping. And then everybody says, we're out, we're out. And everybody's waiting and they see Frankie. This was a funny moment because, you know, you know, Luffy's like, oh, Shogun, you know, they're all going crazy over it. Uh, Luffy, Chopper, and Usopp. And they're all saying that all of G5 and the kids are saying, it's a robot, yeah! Then they turn then you turn to Robin, Nami, Tashigi, and even a little girl. And they're saying it's so awesome. Dead silence for Robin, Nami, Tashigi, and that little girl. It's like, I guess they're not impressed. So they got out of the tunnel. And then this is this, this. I want to bring this up now. I didn't talk about this last time in the live stream because I, I should have went further detail because I didn't do the One Piece chapter, so I didn't want to go into further details. But <clears throat> Buffalo, Buffalo, and Baby Five look at they see Law and they're telling Law, so you've really betrayed Joker, and they say you backstabber for the for your sake, Joker reserved the seat of the hearts. Very peculiar what he say, said to him. I was like, okay. Because I remember hearing from Nostradamus, he explained to me the positions, because Dumb Flamingo was known as Joker. So there's obviously a, 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 a hearts, there is a spades, and so on and so forth, you know, like a deck of cards. So obviously they, he had made a deal with Dumb Flamingo. Law, and and then Luffy's asking, "Well, you guys, your friends?" He says, "No," and that's when he says, "They're enemies." I like this spread they have of Nami, Sanji, Chopper, Luffy, Brook, Law, Zoro, Usopp kneeling down, Robin, Smoke, and the G Five uh, Marines. They're all standing there. And he, Law says, "They're enemies," and they leave, and um. Baby Five and Buffalo obviously realize all oh, the G5 and uh, Law and the Straw Hats. That's too much for us. We need to get the hell out of here. Um, and that's when Usopp. Remember I said the name of this chapter was called Leave It to Me. Usopp and Nami. Well, Usopp first. He says, oh, leave it to me. I'm, I'm great with airborne enemy. enemy airborne enemies are my forte. Those are trying to escape. Uh, and then Luffy and Zoro says, you know, don't don't say that about our sniper. He's very good and so on and so forth. And Law said, we don't have time for this childish bullshit. Escape from Luffy. And then Navi comes out and says, isn't this supposed to be an alliance? Have a little faith. You know, um, and, and she says, oh, I spent all that time running away. I don't think I've had my fill of attacking yet. And then the next page... You see Nami and Usopp like, yeah, we're, we're you know, we're standing tall. And I'm like, okay. Because <laughs> I read this originally on manga here. <coughs> and Zoro says to them, then get on with it already. That's what he says in this one too, from manga stream. He says, get it on. We get it. We don't have all day. And then the obvious like say, I mean, they lose the will to fight and flee from their tails between their legs. That's my specialty. Right. Well, what happens when the enemy's facing you? I thought that was very strange what happened in this chapter with that. But anyway, what ends on happening is, and this was true. I mean, you know, my, my, you know, Nostradamus, man, he really knows his shit. He had said that that was the truth behind um, Usopp's weapon, Kabuto. It apparently feeds on water. And it's like a plant, a living thing. I was like, wow. The slingshot out of Kabuto. It, it's a living thing. So he feeds it water. It says, grow a black Kabuto chomping grass. Um, and he gives it ammo. He gives it the rubble around 
caused through from Frankie's fight with BB-5 in Buffalo, and um, he it eats it as ammo. And BB-5 in Buffalo, obviously, you know, keep you watch my back, BB-5, because they're obviously planning something. <clears throat> and Nami throws this egg. Egg. She throws this egg, and it actually is, um, it's called the weather egg. And she says, now hatch, Lightning Chan, and it creates thunderclouds, and that's when she electrocutes, and you see, uh, you see Baby Five saying, no way, tempo, and they get electrocuted like, <laughs> like nobody's business. And that's when, after that, they're knocked out cold, and... Usopp throws, he, he does with the slingshot, chopping grass. Because chopping grass, what it is, it's basically a plant. It's the end side, the, the, the pull, you pull a slingshot. It's the end part, it's actually a feeding plant that eats, you know, the debris. And it just shoots it and it does call them, it's like certain kill meteor shower strike. And I was just like, whoa. And then, uh. And then that's when Buffalo then decides to 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 protect Baby Five. Well, not Baby Five protects um. Uh, uh, Caesar, and even though he protects him, he still is able to hit him, Usopp. But it goes right through him because he's gas. He's like, I'm the embodiment of gas. He's a clone. Uh, uh, uh. And then what happens? Wow. Well, he uses his final bullet, Usopp, which is sea stoned handcuffs. And he's able to get him. And he caught him. And and he says, Up yours, Caesar. You know, enemies with their backs turned are no bat fur. We get her ready. <laughs> he's like, him and Nami are so proud that they attacked them when they were already defeated. I'm like, come on, man. But anyway, they had their moment of shine. And then they're falling down on the ground. Um, and then Law's like saying, all right, the first stage is a success. <laughs> and then Luffy's like telling him that, what's that now? My crew ain't half bad, right? <clears throat> and that's where, that, that, that's where that ends. And then we see something else on the final page. A person in a boat. And he's saying, I've overslept a bit. Where am I? Which way is Punk Hazard? And it says, where is the shadow that sways with the ties, tides? Okay, overall, this was an interesting, like I said, interesting chapter to say the least. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. It was good. It was good. Bleach was great. I don't know why. Bleach was really great this week. But I will say, I liked, okay, Nami, <laughs> she had her moment to shine. Usopp, Usopp, you know, he, he's developing. And I want to bring, focus more on Usopp than Nami. Nami, you know, she had her moment. But Usopp, man, this guy, I think it could be clearly stated that Usopp can be the brains. Yeah, I, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say he's the brains of the Straw Hats. I really think so. As far as battle um, strategies are concerned, when he was going through Punk Hazard, the laps. He was looking for so sea stone handcuffs. Come on. That is fantastic. So overall, the reason I'm giving this a 4 out of 5 is because of Usopp more than Nami. I mean, Nami, all she did, you know, weather edge, you know, that was it. But Usopp, man, he was thinking, he was like, okay, I need to find these handcuffs. He was going around in the previous chapters, trying to find these handcuffs and try to, you know, get shit together. And he's very strategic, I think so, in some way. Now, as far as who that mystery person is, I have no fucking idea. I originally said Mihawk. It's not Mihawk. Because of the way the shadow looked. I originally said Bon Clay. No, I don't think it's Bon Clay either. I, the reason I say Bon Clay is because of the shape of the boat that that person is in. Um, it could be anybody. I think some people even want to say one of the admirals. 
And he, I was just thinking about this. What if it's Kisaru? Remember, Kisaru, he's very laid back. He's like, he's like, mercy, mercy. He's got very a laid back attitude. What if it is Kisaru? The man, what he said? He slept. This guy was sleeping. And he says, I overslept a bit. Where am I? Which way is Punk Hazard? It could be Kisaru. Or it could even be Okaji. It could be one of those two guys. I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to, to, to bet on that to a certain degree. So, yeah. But overall, this was a great chapter of One Piece. Tell me what you guys think. Comments below. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, a little while later, I will do... I only got two more reviews to do tonight. Might do something else. Might do, like, the verses. Uh oh <laughs> Or something along those lines, but who knows? Um, the the reviews I have to do left are Psychopaths, and I have to do. Fuck, what was the other one? Oh, Koto uh, K Kotoro san. Wait, just see something. Yeah, Kotoro san. Already, uh, no, Yokorama. He's reviewing that. He did an episode two review of that, so I got to catch up with that. Do an episode two review as well on that. So yeah, that's the story. So this is Monkai Night Twenty Two. Good episode of One Piece. Nami and Usopp. Hey, Nami's pretty hot. She was able to shine. And Usopp, man, watch out. I like Brooke, but Usopp, he's got some brains there. He's got some brains. He's very strategic. Believe it. Okay. See. Ya.